All right, everybody. Welcome to Misfit Corner Comics Presents. This is the artist Andrew speaking, and we are once again live streaming. Let me check my volume. All right, everybody. Welcome to Misfit. Sounds good, and we're ready to go. All right. I did have Avery on with me, but uh, he jumped just a second ago. I made one too many bad jokes, and I think he said, ah, that's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, he'll come back. I've sent out the invite to a couple other people, and if they'd like to join, fantastic. So we'll see. If not, I'll end up drawing and talking, and y'all will just be entertained that way. But uh, hope everybody's had a good weekend and a wonderful Monday. This was a very, very long day for me. But uh, I'm home and happy to be home and ready to get to work. Because I have some drawing to do. Hey, who's in the chat? Or who's in the Hello. screen? Hello. Oh, hey, Rick. Hey. How's it going? Well, Avery was here, but right before I hit the launch, he jumped, so. <laughs> Lovely. Well, unless his computer uh, booted him. No, I'm pretty sure I made one too many bad jokes before we started, and he said, okay, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this crap, and I can understand that completely. So how's it going, man? Good. Um, not sure whether you saw my live stream today, but. Um, no, I did uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Oh, okay. uh, just, I, I just had a good announcement. Okay. And it, it even uh, went further since then. Um, I went downtown. Uh, I went to a print shop at about 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah. And I looked into getting uh, my first Kevin characters in tra uh, trading cards. Oh, nice. Very nice. And they had a good, good price. So... Uh, I had my images with me. I was going to do it right then, right there, but I needed to adjust some stuff. Yeah. So they said, come home, go adjust it, and come back, in, or then come back. Okay. okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm not sure what time. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, I want, I'm doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody out there. But <laughs> so I came home, altered the files the way they needed to so they could print them properly, and went back and paid the money. And Wednesday at four o'clock, I go to, well, I'd be, I can be there for four o'clock to pick them up. And we will have, a, I will have a hundred of seven different characters for trading cards. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, hey, Bethany, welcome to the show. All right. I have, I have been sorely lacking in the getting drawings done department. Um, we had a, a memorial for my uncle this morning, and my wife was down in Daytona with my mother-in-law, so I had to drive down yesterday and pick her up and bring her home so that she could go with us to the memorial. And then I had to drive her back down so she could finish her vacation. So I have not been home very much in the last two days, so doing a lot of driving. But... Uh, I'm back. I'm happy to be back, and I'm happy to get drawing. So we're gonna start doing that right now. Well, wow. I gotta ruin that. I'm sick of that. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, guess what? Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna officially start this evening. A whole new Something segment. Something boring. A whole new segment called Dollar Bin Diving, mm. where we're gonna pull out a box of comics and go through it and look for gems and see what ha see what we can find. Mm. Because the the we did we've done this twice now. The first time we weren't even on stream; it was after a stream, and yeah. the second time was on Avery's channel. So technically, that don't count. So now we're going to make it, we're going to make it part of my hero hour. Is going to include dollar bin diving, which should be fun. I already got I already grabbed a box, and uh, it's uh, almost ready to go. I just have to finish my sketch and. Oh, jeez, Louise. Take the forever to Sounds, get... All right, now we're here. Now we're in. Sounds sketchy to me. Bethany says, sigh. I can't draw duck dodgers. Gary makes it look so easy. Can't get the proportions right. Duck dodgers? I've never tried drawing duck dodgers. But then, then I, I stick to what I do best. Oh, well. Well, um, you draw anthro. It's just you got to copy Warner Brothers style. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. Oh. I, had a, I had a friend who was a who was mad crazy about uh, about Warner Brothers stuff. And 
I was more of a Disney guy, you know. I mean, there, there is a difference. You, you know, you're either you're either Warner Brothers or you're Disney. Warner uh, Brothers. I'm both. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more Disney. At, le at least for you know that type of stuff, anyways. Newsflash: Warner Brothers and Disney suck. <laughs> hey, Slee Stack, how's it going, man? Oh, well, I'm. I'm I going. <laughs> I, I love Warner old Warner Brothers cartoons. Oh, you're talking about old ones. I thought you were talking about like current state of Warner Brother and Disney. No, 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 no. We're we're talking about uh like Duck Dodgers, Mar Marvin the Mar Martian, uh Big Chungus, Bugs Bunny. Oh yeah. Well I watched both Warner Brothers and Disney. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I watched them both when I was a little kid. Yeah. Uh, now I have more of a fondness for the Warner Brothers. Yeah, there's more stuff in the Warner Brothers cartoons that you can still appreciate as an adult. Oh, I like the old Disney stuff from like the, like before the Hollywood Code or whatever. They had some really weird stuff, like uh, they had some kind of risque stuff in there too. Like yeah. even in old Mickey Mouse cartoons, those were great. Yeah, they they hit a lot of stuff in cartoons back then. <laughs> yeah, like there was like one where there was this this harp with a woman's uh, a woman's behind on there, and then somebody like was slapping it, or, and then like Minnie many Mouse was getting sexually harassed, and one of those were was really weird. Might not have been the same same one, but it was. And then the the one where there's um there's the skeletons dancing around. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah that stuff was weird. Yeah, the yeah. very first stuff was too, where they had the, uh, this little girl named Alice, this Alice character. Yeah, they did a lot of weird, trippy stuff way back. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. They so did. that was like really, really good. But then later on, I think uh, Warner Brothers was doing like trippier stuff. Yeah, I want my, I like my cartoons trippy. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I like it if it's like surreal, like uh, Tex Avery. Oh. Dude, Tex Avery did crazy stuff. You know, I was I was never a big fan of Tex Avery, to be honest with you. Oh, see? Tex, Tex Avery's Looney Tunes were great. I could he appreciate did. it, but it was not. All, I think he also did some Tom and Jerry, too, didn't he? I believe oh, so. yeah. Yeah, he did some of the, he did some really incredible Tom and Jerry. Bethany says it's for the that. Gary's I, Art Challenge. I got to look into that. That sounds interesting. I used yeah. to watch the Tex Avery show. They'd show oh, yeah. all that old stuff. And then with Disney, I'd watch the Ink and Paint Club. And I was watching probably around the same period of time. I think there was like maybe an interest again in, in those the older cartoons. Yeah. But he's going to do, he's going to do another 50 cent bin dive. No, we're calling it the dollar bin dive because technically, oh. if I take it to the if I take it to the to the flea market, it's their yeah. dollar their dollar bins. But, I didn't do my fifty cent video today of what I picked up for the last two weeks. Oh yeah, but there's a reason I didn't. It's just when I checked my mail, I had Bigfoot Bill. Yes, I got my oh, copy boy. Of that I as well. What I about the look out and see if I have that yet? No, I have not gotten the sketchbook yet. So far, I just got Bigfoot Bill. I can't remember if I ordered the sketchbook. I know you you ordered one for me. Yeah. But I don't know if I ordered one and like forgot about it. But dude, oh. the, you if you book? if you go on to uh your I know. Indigo. I know. I, yeah, I know. I just don't. <laughs> okay. I, I haven't gone in there to check. Yeah, Rick's Rick's talking logic here, you know. Yeah. Um, no, I was going to open my Bigfoot Bill live on camera. I already opened it and checked it out. But I'm going to yeah. make a video showing me opening it up and taking a look at it. So I'm looking forward to that. I opened mine on camera, but the video cut off before I was done. So I had to reshoot it with it already open. Oh, yeah. My phone, oh. ran, my phone ran out of memory. So uh, I had to reshoot it. And yeah. But, dude, the book, dude. Uh, don't spoil it for me because I haven't seen it yet. So. Oh, you haven't seen what the book looks like? I haven't seen the book that looks like I'm pretending like I have. So we, yeah, yeah. Don't spoil it for me. I want to open it live on stream and and be uh, well, and be utterly amazed at how beautiful it is and 
well, how I, I think you know, I, I don't care if I ruin it for you. <laughs> uh, Doug way undercharged for what he delivered. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen I've seen the pictures of that. Uh, is it's it, beautiful. It's he should have charged at least 35 40 maybe even 50 for what he delivered now what he, we're getting as backers is not what's going to be made available to the general public right it's not going to the general public at all is he not going to make an addition that'll be able no. to go to stores no. really no hmm. he dude he looking at this book he blew his whole wad making this book hey yo <laughs> Like, you know, we yeah. have lady, we have ladies present in the chat. When, oh, when, cash! Like you know, all when, the money he made, he put back in the book, dude. Yes, yes, I do believe that is. Absolutely and I hope people keep that in mind about him that he's that he's the one who really, really delivered he something could, beautiful. No, he, he it, it, so, it, it, it's, wow. not, it's not good that he did that. Well, he didn't make it. He did not make the money he deserved to make. It's not good for the. It's not good for like other people trying to. He could have, have stood, his, but it's, it's, yeah, it's not good for his personal finances. He could have delivered a very nice hardback that still that he that that still would have had more profit in it than the, without going as far as he went. He went and printed in America. He went full like. Uh, yeah, I think it was kind of like a like a love for the the fans, is what it seems like. I mean, probably he probably might be losing well, money on that thing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I, I under I can understand that, but you, you're right. He did put a lot more into it than he probably needed to. But yeah, he I mean, he he's, he still could have delivered a very nice hardback. Hey, hey, Cody, uh, hey Commodore, how's it going? He says he yep. found the best S. SFW porn on the internet basement video store. I watched, what? It, I watched a tour of one guy's basement that was an hour and a half, and it was amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. Porn. Is, so is, is really, it really mean porn? Or it's not really he, porn. It's, you know, well, I mean. Oh, it's prawn with, it, with, with a zero. Is that what he said? No, he said porn. But, I mean, it's, yeah, it's but, like. But no, it's we still, can, we with can a zero, see, it can be. You can uh, see a comic and go, "Oh, that's like comic porn," you know? Yeah, that's not yeah. Porn. That's, it's, it's just so awesome. It just makes you giddy and happy. I spell P R zero N if it's that sort of thing. Yeah, that, that's that's probably what he should have done, but that's okay. We forgive him. And then uh, the Yard of Reed series says, "Hey, hey, hey, how's it going, man?" Oh, well, hey there. Oh, all right. Oh. Hey, Willie boy. I mean, I just, I just, I just think it's really cool that I mean. In a way, I mean, it's not cool for us. Like, I don't know how much money made off of this in, in profit, though. But well, I think it's, I think it's though. I think it shows though that he actually cares about people who funded the book. That he, yeah, got I think so, so carried away. I think so too, but he could have he could have gotten away with doing less and still have made the money. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. He when he that's a dude i'm telling you that's a fifth with his signature that's a 50 60 dollar book oh yeah absolutely, absolutely. oh I bet people are, could like even resell it oh dude if you bought the, if you bought two of those don't take less than a hundred bucks for it wow uh, yeah when I saw nine, it, the four of seen it beautiful it's Just nine by 12 point. dude it's oversized wow it's 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 yeah, he, he could have. He, he probably should have charged more because I don't know how. And did did he did he get the, the demo game with it? I, I I don't know. I think that's going to get emailed to everybody. Because that is, uh, see the way he's doing is so ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, since since it. we're since we're talking about it, and I have no idea what you all are talking about, let's go ahead and open up my copy and see for for myself. What, oh wow! What you're what you're talking about, you bunch of crazy people! Uh, a beautiful, amazing book that I feel a little guilty about paying twenty five dollars for. I'm not mm. kidding. I feel like you don't normally when I when I go buy a Marvel book in a discount bin for five bucks and it's a thirty dollar graphic novel, I don't feel bad. I paid twenty five dollars for this, even counting the shipping. That's if. 
what shipping was 10 bucks 35 i paid 35 dollars for this and i still feel like i ripped dog off all right i had to uh i had I'm gonna, to uh, i'm gonna tweet this i'm gonna i had to black out to my call the raven and yeah i had to black out my name my address because the last thing i want to do is dox myself again but yes. uh let me open up this wonderful little package here and see what we have inside <gasps> Bubble wrap! Oh, hell yeah, bubble wrap. Okay. And we have a... Oh, gosh, I can't even remember what the Cult of Raven is called today. This is a really nice uh, cardboard box. I may have to reuse that for something. But uh, let me uh, let me see if I can rip this thing open and get to the heart of it and see what it looks like. And oh, It's almost like somebody cut it open at the bottom. I don't know why anybody would do that, but... <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Oh, there's more in there. Be careful. That's your bookmark. Yeah, I saw there, that. There, there's, there's a little bit more in there. That's my bookmark, which honestly, don't care about the bookmark. Let's see what else is <laughs> We got my patch, low carb. That's funny. That's great. That's great. And a Bigfoot Bill trading card, series one. Now, does this have one card in it, or does anybody know? I don't know. I'm not opening it. I'm I can't even see it because I'm still trying to treat this out. I'm not open mine either. I'll save it. But I think that's it. I think that's all that was promised. The rest of it was all of the book. Oh my gosh! Look how cool this. Oh, oh that is gorgeous. Flip it over. Oh well, there's an impression on the back. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. He went all out with this. Oh, yeah. that, that's not a comic book. <laughs> it's like a love letter to his fans. This is this is gorgeous. Labor love. love. This. I don't know oh, what that is, but that's not a comic book. No, that's beyond. I would like to see Hero done like this. Oh, me but, too, absolutely. But, but here's the deal. Oh, that's uh, the it, deal. it will have a $50, $60 price tag. Yeah, the version. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. It's a hardcover book. Yeah, it's, a, it's not just a hardcover book. It's that gold embossed with the inset yeah. art. It, that's, that's, not a, that's not a $25 hardback. That's no. a $50 hardback. Oh yeah. This is the this is the uh, people are some people are complaining about the they th some people think the Comicscape books haven't been that high of quality thus far. Well, you this is like, they, I, I this is like almost too high quality. Who, who, you, who, you, you got that for twenty five dollars that book? Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure what I paid um, for it. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Plus, uh, I will tell you right now. Um, Graveyard shift was high quality. Uh, the uh, um, Jawbreakers was just as good as anything at D that you see from Marvel and DC in trade, in my yeah. opinion. Uh, except for him not putting a coating on the cover for Iron Sights, Iron Sights was just fine. The problem with Iron Sights is he went with uncoated paper. Was it? Yeah, wasn't he? Didn't he do that intentionally? He he, he didn't realize he, it would do that though. What did it do? Oh, it wow. come, the, it come, the ink comes off when you touch the cover. Oh, that's awful. Look yeah. at the full bleed pages, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's heavy stock paper. That's nice. But uh, graveyard shift is fantastic. Is is fantastic quality. It's oh fantastic. yeah. For a I sign just... for a signed comic from both the artist wow. and the writer for twenty five bucks. You're doing just fine with Great Birds. This is just this is just a, this is just remarkable. I, I mean, well, okay. I, think only, I think the only complaint I have is you can actually see the stitching. Yeah. In here, so I, I got to be very careful. The last thing I want to do is yeah, have a but it is now. it is stitched. Yeah. It's not wow. Good, it's stitched. Yeah. As long as I take care of it, it'll take it'll be it'll be okay. But yeah. Wow. And this is uh, Kelsey Shannon, and who else? Somebody else was on colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His regular colors for a lot of stuff too. Catherine Garner, Kelsey yeah. Shannon, and Catherine Garner. Well, you can definitely see the Kelsey Shannon in here. It's just this. This really is. Um... I mean, if he really wanted to make it good, he would have paid somebody like Avery Butterworth. So, do you not nowhere near? I'm nowhere near as good as Kelsey. These these pages look fantastic. I'm gonna skip ahead, so I'm not. Yeah, long. I was gonna. Not to piss off the copyright gods, but oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, that unicorn thing was cool. Hold on a second. <gasps> yeah. Hey, does this page look right? This page right here look familiar to you guys? Oh, is that the page you got the layout for? That's the page I got the layout for. You guys want to see it again? 
Is that a sleeve oh, stack? Yeah. I think I, I see some sleeve stack representation or something. Oh yeah, you some more eyes. Oh no, that that's Mothman. Well, that's close enough. <laughs> Check it out. I'll I'll take it. I'll... That's the layout for this page. Page number sixty-one. Is that oh. what it says here? Sixty-one. Yeah, hot damn. That is and cool. how how much did that cost you? Um, the original page was uh, an add-on for forty dollars. Oh wow! Oh, the thing wow. is, I, I saw the basic, you know, the basic like um, penciling, and uh, it was hard to tell how how it looked once it was inked and colored. I mean, I knew it was going to be a, I knew it was a very unique, artistic style, but it's just really impressive. Man, I am so glad I got this perk. Uh, yeah, the penciling is great. Yep. This is fantastic. I mean, this is. Let's see, does he have any extra special stuff at the back? Yeah, I skipped through. No, quite a bit no, of no behind stuff. the. I was looking for like you know sketches, behind the scenes stuff, but I don't. I guess he didn't have room to put it in, but. Oh, that's cool. Well, I think that's the sketchbook. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, Shadow of the Mothman, Doug Tenable. Is there a? Uh, I wonder if there's a first printing in this, or. I mean, not that. Mm. It'd be on the previous. Nope. It, nope. It, it'd be on that inside page right there. Nope. Okay. Well. So I mean, is if, this... he's, if he's not going to print this again, in this this format, then these are extremely limited. You know, nobody else is ever going to get he, this type of thing. So if he does a second yeah. printing, it'll look a little different. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm I'm fairly certain that if he does do another printing, it'll be like a trade. Even if it's a hardcover, it'll probably be smaller or something. Oh wow. Yeah, this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to go and see what I originally paid. Oh. Well, if he's got any extras of those, I'd love to grab one. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get any extras, buddy. Sorry to say. Any extras he has, he has to save for the next campaign. So Possibly. is this like uh, like no longer a comic skate book because he left? Um, I don't know. We're not, that's not up for discussion. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yep, $25 plus $10 shipping. This is absolutely a $50 plus dollar book. This is well, well, well worth the cost. Yeah. I'm so glad I, I ordered the sketchbook and the and the um Yeah, I was gonna did you order did you order a, did you order a sketchbook for you too? Well no, I ordered one. Mm. So Yeah, I wish I could have like ordered two of each, but I, I don't it was just like Well I thought you were ordering the sketchbook to give to me. That's all you said. Uh, hold on. What did I do here? Hold on. I can't believe I can't draw duck dodgers. Daffy Duck is hard to draw. You have to emulate the style. Oh no, I got, I ordered, it's the uh, one signed sketchbook and ash can. So that's what I'm getting. Okay. So, well, it says includes one sketchbook, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's a sketchbook slash ask. Man. That's what it is. It's not. It's not two things. It's one thing. Uh, either way, I'm getting. I'm, I got. I ordered the book, and then I ordered the sketchbook, and then I ordered a piece of art. And so far, I've got two out of the three. So I'm thrilled. Thrilled. What's the other thing you have? Uh, the sketchbook. I have the piece of art, the book, and a sketchbook. Where's the sketchbook? I didn't, I didn't see that. He, I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. He didn't send it all at the same time. No, no. He sent them all separately. This what the oh. So wow. you just get the book right now? I'm I, I didn't see anything else. I was um, Yeah, this 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 package was just the book, but I got the art the I got the art like weeks ago. So Yeah, Bethany says now Rick understands. No. You need, to, you no. need to order it when it you need to order it when it happens, my friend. Order it uh, I, I was trying to get it on the last day, but I it didn't get to put uh, money on my pay as to go credit card in time, so Yes, it's like, uh, oh. easy to do. Yeah, but it probably would have cost like what three hundred dollars to send it to, to Canada, to Canada, Canada, Canada. 
I, I hate to say it, Rick, when I worked at my old company, um, we did have a, a couple of sites uh, in Canada that supported part of our groups. And we, whenever we would say Canada, we would say, yeah, you know, it's the site in Canada, duh. <laughs> we always said Canada because I'm not 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 that I'm reflecting bad on Canadians. I'm just saying that the people yeah, you are you Canada, Canada. Canada. And furry. No, 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 it's just that the Americans are duh. <laughs> it works better the other way around, Rick. Sorry, man. Yeah, all I ordered was the book. Oh, okay, okay. So now you've you've pissed off the furries. You pissed off the Canadians. I pissed off the furries because I'm not one of them. Is that yeah? Is, somebody, uh, hey, somebody did refund Hero. At least I thought it. I thought they did because I could have swore it was an 88. Yes, I we I wasn't gonna bring that up, but yes, somebody refunded their their perk on Hero. Oh, well, that's, that's unfortunate. Sad. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I wish there was a place where you could, you know, maybe say why you're doing. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, they may have looked at it and go, "Oh, this thing's never gonna." This thing's never going to make it, and I need the money. I need to be able to sure put sure. gas in my car or something. You have I a mean, Canadian I don't on your show. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I have no idea. I don't know what it was, but I mean, I understand. I mean, if you can't do it, that's fine. But I will tell you what, guys. I am going to order copies of the book, whether the whether the Indiegogo campaign gets funded or not. I will have copies of the book. But regrettably, they're not going to be $25 a piece because it's going to cost us way too much money to order a smaller number of copies. The whole idea yeah. for the Indiegogo was to have the money so that we could order enough copies of the book where it would be affordable for us to sell it for as little as $25. But yeah. it, I'm going to have copies, and I'm going to have copies in my hand, and I'll make them available for sale. It, they're just not. I just guarantee you they're not going to be $25. No, it's probably going to be closer to 35 or more, or be. more, because I've, I've I've got an itching to, to go ahead and just print it as a, a hardback. And oh, if I get like, oh. if, oh. I order, <laughs> if I order like a hundred copies, well, actually, I, I couldn't do. I'd have to order like maybe fifty copies of the hardback. You, you, it no, would uh, probably be fifty dollars a piece uh, or more. No, but, you, you can't order it that that low. Yes, uh, I can, but not from where we originally. Oh looked yeah, at. yeah. Oh, what's the other place you were looking at? There's other places I looked at, so. Well, I need I need to see the other places. We'll talk about it later off stream. Oh, you're awful. Yeah, well. He doesn't want to give anything away to the chat at the moment, you know. Well, no, I just no, because if I bring up one name, he's gonna immediately take a dump on it, and I don't wanna I don't wanna have the argument right now with him. Oh, is it one of the awful ones? So, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what I gotta deal with. All right. I'm Someone gonna that up. knows something about printing because he's actually run a printing press. Hey, listen to him. I just, if I do it, it'll be preview copies and not copies to sell. So it's okay. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and he knows it. All right. So tonight's box is box okay. S S2. So hopefully, we'll get something good in box S2. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit so that instead of well, actually, this might. What's this box? This is uh, S2. I'm gonna extend my camera and I'm going to uh, make me cry. I'm gonna, oh yes. I'm gonna angle it so that you oh, guys yeah. can actually see yeah. what's coming, what's in the box. You're making this least that cry with your ah. That's giving me headache. Uh, well, I must I must admit though. Um, Andrew, mm -hmm. your face is not what I pictured it to be. Wow, gosh, I, that is making me queasy. What is making you queasy? Did you, your face is not what I pictured it to be there, Andrew. Oh, shut up, Canadian. <laughs> All right. I, just, I didn't say it was a bad thing. He's like a cartoon character. Do you see him eating? You never saw him eating that, um, what, what was it? You were, those peeps? <laughs> my sis, my daughter, by the way, tried one of the peeps. <laughs> I think it made her sick. Ugh. Yeah, it made me sick just looking at them. Well, I had fun eating them, so. Oh, you certainly did. All right, guys. Well, here's what we're going to do. 
here's what we're going to do tonight. This is a whole new section. Oh, hey, D, how's it going? Welcome to the show. D's here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me catch up on the 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 um, the, uh, the the chat room. Chat. Quick. Um, Commodore corrected said that S S F W was safe for work porn. That's what it meant by safe porn. Uh, Art of Reed says doing well, thanks. Commodore says if you ever see food seen food porn, you know what it's meant. Bethany says ha 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 ha. So she's laughing at us, of course. It says now Rick understands, which I got that. Uh, Lorenzo chimes in and says it's spelled prawn. Okay. Bethany says no about Duck Dodgers. And then Bethany says, that's okay. I'll wait till, or I will wait and pay a little more since I can't do it now. Okay. And then D says, please save me a copy of your hardback. And 49 might be reasonable for a hardback. Yeah, well, I have ordered, now I have ordered hardback copies of both books one and books two, but they were the black and white versions. And there are only like two copies of each that exist right now. And I gave them to my editor as a Christmas gift. And I said to him, this is how I imagine hero looking uh, in hardback, the full size, eight, eight and a quarter by 11, something or whatever. It's, it was just a huge size and I loved it, but I've never published it, printed it in col full color. And that's, that's what we're working towards. So that's going to be a whole different thing. And I look forward to doing it. All right, back to what we're doing here tonight. Um, at the end of one of our live streams, after we uh, we uh, said goodnight to all you you guys, I pulled out a couple of boxes, and and uh, Lorenzo and uh, Avery went through the box with me, and we found some amazing gems, and we had a great time doing it. And the next time we did it was during one of Avery's live streams, and technically that doesn't count. So, <laughs> uh, wasn't so, I there? Wasn't I there too? You might have been there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tonight. We're going to make this an official segment of the Hero Hour. It's called Dollar Bin Diving. And the reason why it's called Dollar <coughs> Bin Diving is because I take these boxes to the flea market and all the bagged and board comics are a dollar. That's what I sell them as. So we're going to, but before I take the box to the, to the flea market, I need to look through it first, make sure there's, really, <coughs> there's nothing in there that's of really, really good value and, you know, and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I found in these bins that I pulled out before I took it to the flea market. But uh, that's just give you an idea of what we're doing. So tonight we're going through box S2. Uh, two. Okay, so we'll see what's in here. We usually start at the back and we'll go through and see what we got here. All Star Section 8, number five. I don't think anybody uh, cares about that series. Nope, no. no. Uh, sure secret, that is. secret weapons from. Uh, from uh, you know, let me raise the camera. Just oh, just I'll oh, skip it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. From Valiant. These are old Valiants. Uh, secret weapons. No. Oh, secret warriors. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is secret. Oh, these are these are these are the limited series from Secret Wars. That thing that they this that they did a couple years ago from Marvel. These particular ones, Years of Future Past, had some fantastic. Uh, Art Adams covers, but yeah. This is more recent stuff. Yeah, it's more recent stuff. Battle World. Uh, yeah, that's ugh, nothing. Nothing good here. Is this recent too? Yeah, these are these are. Oh, no wonder that '80s stuff was great. This is well. This is an '80s. This, this is old. This is current this is... stuff. Yeah, there's nothing good here. No wonder you're selling it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, you. you the stuff and he was for a dollar. <laughs> the other stuff we were we were look watching some of the stuff other stuff he was selling was some pretty cool stuff from the eighties. I mean, I mean, look at this. That Hold looks like on. a cool cover. Yeah, but I don't know what the either. book's about. Oh, well, Marvel Zombies usually isn't too bad. Now, well, that's this, the thing. Now, this, isn't this, too bad. This particular story, um, Infinity Gauntlet was uh the limited series the art was by dustin weaver and he's actually pretty fantastic so it was a pretty cool looking story but uh but what was the story like most of those uh, books which ones this one this is well secret wars was where they took all their different storylines and made them into separate worlds and this is a world where inferno uh, happened and continued or so forth okay this creature on the cover 
that you see here? Believe it yeah. or not, that's supposed to be Nightcrawler. Like a demonized Nightcrawler. Which oh. Okay, that's just wrong. Uh, let's see. Oh, Howard the Human. I mean, this is just really bad, guys. Uh, House of M. I made that part of a story. Hank Johnson, agent of Hydra. How stupid do you come out? Oh, oh actually, these covers actually look really good. These are uh, Andrew Robinson covers for Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Yeah, this is good. I thought this was supposed to be the S book. S is. Yeah, well, this is part of Secret Wars. Oh, they're okay. All Secret Wars, so that's why they're kind of. Oh. Ghost Racers? Ghost Racers. These are Franco Frank uh, Franco Francovilla covers. They're pretty cool. But yeah, no. I won't hail Terra, but I will hail Hydra. Like this right here. E for extinction. This is just bad. Yeah, that was a I've got a couple of those. I didn't yeah. really like them. None of these are worth anything. Carol in the Carol Corpse. Uh, or she's doing a Zig Heil. Seriously, it looks like she's doing these, a Zig Heil. These were actually good. Captain Britain and the Mighty Defenders. These were uh, Alan Davis on art. But, uh, no way. Oh, good God, I have a whole box of these. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, number one. This might actually be some, worth some money because they continue yeah. to do it. Yeah. Uh, Nerd Wonder might like that if she doesn't already have it. Yeah. A Force. Secret, Secret Wars. Wars 2099. All right. Yeah. Now we're out of here. Now we're into Secret Six. Oh. Secret what Six. Is, what's, what was Secret Six mode? Um, um, it's. Well, it was Gail Simone. So, you know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, that's, oh, like that's a nice, that's a nice cool cover. cover. Wow. I like the hind end part. Dark green. Secret invaders. Oh yeah, this is the limited series with the scrolls attacking. I honestly don't know if I even read these issues. I did. It wasn't too bad. Oh, Bendis. Or I think I did. Oh, Mark Millar's Secret Service. This is the uh, the comic that inspired the movie um, Kingsman. Oh really? That actually might be good. I only have one issue of it, so. Oh. Oh, Avery, check this out. Wow, Secret that's Origin. nice. Secret Origin. Oh. Batgirl and Doctor Midnight and Batgirl. Set that aside, please. Drawn by huh. Rick Leonardi. Oh, nice. We'll have to yeah. take a look. Uh, oh, I was, funny. I was just there about to say that. <laughs> Set that aside. Wow. Yeah. Secret identities. You're making good decisions today. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Box, and I found one comic worth it. You know. Secret Avengers. Nope, don't really care about that. Actually, who did Secret Avengers? Uh, Butch Geis was all the artist for the, for a lot of that. That Titan stuff was really... I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got Art Adams covers here for Secret Avengers. The covers are cool. I don't... Oh, I like this, I like this cover a lot. This is one where it has Captain Britain and Hawkeye versus... The, uh, like the zombie. Um, well, it's the werewolf Captain America, the Frankenstein Punisher, and I forget exactly what that is with Thor. I think it's some type of, Oh, and you got a Wolverine up there in the corner, and he's a vampire. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Yoko Milk's here in the chat, and he says, I picked up like 70 comics of 2000 AD not too long ago for around $6. Or six pounds, or oh. around nine bucks. Check out that cover. That's Art Adams drawing Black Widow. That's nice. That is nice. That is nice. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, Secret Avengers. Secret Avengers. Secret Avengers. Oh, I did, I still like that one with with a woman's booty. You need more of that in comics these days. Yeah, I need more of that in comics. That's right. Secret Avengers. Hey, real life. I have a whole bunch of these. Oh, here we go. Now we're back. Now we're up to uh, Valiance. Oh, wow. That's, that, Dr. That, Mirage. I like the, the artwork. I thought it was kind of interesting. That was... Um, who was the artist back then? I think it was Bernard Chang. When was then. this? Wow. When was this uh, done? This was... Uh, oh, this was back in the 90s. 
Oh, Valley okay. Popular. Sea of Red. Who cares about that? That's Rick Remender. Who cares? Sea Guy. Yeah, nobody cares. Ooh. Scrub the Disposable Assassin, issue three. Issue two. Issue one. These might actually be worth some money. If the Scud movie had ever happened, like, because Coppola... Yeah, I'll have to check and see. Two or three times, but never made the movie. Check and see if that... Oh, and then we have a uh, Scion from uh, CrossGen. We got a whole collection of Scion in here. I liked when it started. It was um, it was uh, Jimmy Chung on art. That was fantastic. But these are later issues. Oh yeah, I still had Jimmy Chung on it all the way to issue thirty-eight. That's pretty cool. Some really early Jimmy Chung stuff. All right, that's it. That's it for Box S. Well, that one so, wasn't as so, exciting as that. So, uh, S stands for, in this case, sucks. <laughs> well, there was one in there that was, you know, maybe one or two that you set aside. Yeah, I did, I did set a couple aside. Let's see what we got here. Get the wire out of the way. Let's take a look at uh, Secret Origins number 20, featuring Batgirl by Rick Leonardi. Let's take a look at that. That's one that I wouldn't mind getting off you. It's a Rick Leonardi. He's not giving that up. Well, it's also Batgirl, my all-time favorite character. Yeah, so. it's Batgirl. Yeah, and if you keep that, if you keep... you're not getting it. <laughs> no, um, no, 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 but I can understand you giving, if you give Rick some stuff, that'd be cool. I mean, maybe oh, not wow. that particular this issue. Is, see, this is, uh, let me see what year this is, because this is early Rick Leonardi. Oh, look at that splash page. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's that's 80s with uh, Secret Origins. Yeah, this is uh, 81. This is yeah. before I started collecting comics. So this is this is not something I would have bought myself. I would have bought it either in a 50-cent bin or, or somebody gave it to me. Yeah, it's a big This is cool. Giordardo inking, right? Uh, let me double check. I think so. But... This is on... Um... A uh, newsprint? Yep, yep, Dick Giordano. Yep, yep. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, newsprint. Uh, I could t 81, they didn't have anything other than newsprint back then. It's really oh, good. It looks it's awesome. The use of shadows and everything in here. This yeah, I like it. This is... Too, too many artists today don't use simple graphic design to set up a, a simple scenes. Oh, that's cool. Like, yeah. That thing on the left, the the whole thing with Krypton, how that just the oh, yeah, fonts and every on, the yeah, graphics and everything. The, the world of Krypton. It was a limited series uh, drawn by Mike Mignola. But I mean the whole yeah. like the like between the graphics and the font, everything's perfect. Look at that page, man! I would love to get a hold of an original page like this. I wonder That's if he, I don't know if he actually sells his his original pages or not. Rick Leonardi, yeah, 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 yeah. I think he has a, 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 a an art dealer, though. What if those old ones would be a ton of money? Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you think about it, this is a forty-year-old comic, you know. It just goes to show how much comic books, um, the how much like Marvel and DC comic books have gone downhill. Yeah, the, and the, the DC, I guess, in this case. The Hour Man story was drawn by Mike Clark. I don't think I've ever, I don't know that name at all. Hour Man? I thought it was Dr. Midnight. Dr. Midnight, Dr. Midnight, yeah. But that's cool. This that is, is cool. really cool. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep a hold of this. I don't know if it's actually worth any money, but it's, I definitely have is, to it, it's, it's Batgirl, right? It is Batgirl. Ba -na 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 Batgirl! I love Batgirl. She's my all-time favorite character. Hey, Kodiak, how's it going, man? Wasn't Batgirl like a way of like showing that Batman wasn't gay? Wasn't that the reason they added her to the, at least adding her to the show? I don't know in the comic books. Well, in, well, the, the, comic, the... in the comics, I actually bought the um, those uh, the newsprint really thick books that show her first appearance. Yeah. She was like graduate. She had graduated from college, and she was like a per like a she worked in the library, and she she wasn't a kid. She was yeah. like, yeah. 
was first introduced. So yeah, yeah, you got to remember, uh, but the there was a Batgirl before Barbara Gordon, but the Barbara Gordon Batgirl was originally introduced in the Batman TV show. Okay, yeah, because I I, I I heard. I mean, there was a lot of things. I think they received a lot of. I think they received pressure for for the and the when they were working on that show. Yeah. I mean, because it was like, it was really, I mean, it was pretty risque. I mean, or it could be interpreted that way. It was cool that they yeah. made it kind of ambiguous that, you know, it could yeah. be like kids could view it as being innocent and then adults were like, you know, you could this view is, it, you know, another way. This yeah. issue that covers, it's a little dinged up down the spine, but... Uh, this, this might Not actually bad. be worth some money. I'll have to double check. But because she be, really became popular in the TV show, uh, she almost uh, there's actually a um, out there somewhere. I've seen it, but I haven't been able to get it. There is actually a pilot episode for a TV series by herself. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Rick, if there what if there was because you were you did something to Batman for Batgirl, and I was just wondering uh, yeah. if they ever did make that a reality. They were going to. I don't know what happened to it. I, I like I've tried to download it a couple places, but uh, just no uh, hits. Yeah. No. That's too bad. But I'd like to see it one day. Yeah, they need, um, they need to make that sort of thing more available so people can get legit. Copies. But but because that that part, Barbara Gordon Batgirl became so popular, they put her into the comics. Interesting. But there That's was happened. a previous Batgirl. Yeah, and she was oh. with Bat. She was with Batwoman, who is okay. a say, who has the same name nowadays, Catherine Kane. But back then, she was not uh, gay. <laughs> Catherine Kane. Oh wow! Yeah, it's kind of an odd change to suddenly make that. You know, sort of introducing a new character. Just did a quick look and uh, Scud the Disposable Assassin issue number one. In near mint 9.4 condition is worth forty dollars, and this one's probably not that good a condition because I mean it's like I said it's got some spine problems, so it's probably an eight or maybe a seven and a half. So it's definitely you know twenty five dollar book. Issue two is worth sixteen in near mint, and issue three is worth eight in near mint. So together, all three of them probably be decent fifty dollars. You know? What is that about? Um, it's about a disposable assassin. You go to a vending machine and you hire an assassin, and what it does is once it kills whatever it is you send it to kill, it self-destructs and, kill, and kills itself. And he goes after a monster that he's supposed to kill, and he gets to the point where he's just about to kill the monster, and then he realizes if he kills the monster, then he dies. So instead, he takes other jobs in order to keep the monster alive. For, for as long as it can, so that he could stay alive. But that's that's the that's, that's the, an interesting premise. Yeah, yeah. Very simple style. Now I want to check and see this one. See if this is actually worth any money. Secret Origins. Did you end up sending anything outside for Rick? Because he was asking about. Oh, there was nothing there really. I was interested. The only one that I was interested. His secret origins, but <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the other day. Oh, I'm not sure what there was. I was interested in a lot of the stuff that you were interested in. I know that. Oh, <laughs> well, the only other thing I think that I was interested that you weren't, he asked Tank about it. So is the Black Lightning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this one in 9.4 condition is worth three dollars, so it's Ooh. the simple fact it's Rick Leonardi means it's worth something. I don't, I don't understand that they got stuff, they've got comic books, they're charging far more. They're charging how much are they up to with some of them? Are they up to like eight with some of the comic books nowadays? Oh, you mean the cover prices? Yeah, aren't they like they're at least four bucks, but don't they range? Yeah, well, you know, I almost this week this week when we went to the comic book store, I almost picked up uh, War of the Realms number one. Uh, they didn't have the regular cover or the Art Adams cover, the Art Adams cover. So I, so my store only had a couple of different versions, and none of them were the ones that made me want to buy it. So I said, Nah, that's okay. I'm not going to buy it. Well, D and C uh, Richard did a review of it. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't waste five ninety nine on that book. That's just a piece of crap. 
but that's just my personal opinion. It's a waste of five ninety nine. I'm glad I didn't waste it. So, actually, what I did, I did buy four comics, and so far I've read two of them. Um, I read the first part of the uh, Deathstroke Teen Titans crossover, the Terminus Agenda. This is uh, it, mm-hmm. Teen Titans number twenty eight is the first part, and then Deathstroke number 42 is the second part. These so those were, are essentially essentially 4 bucks, three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. These were actually fantastic. I may have oh, to do a review of them because I really, really enjoyed them. I like the, I like the, the drawings. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. artwork is good. No. I think it's Brian Glass and uh, Christopher Priest on, on writing, and this is Bernard Chang on art, and... Uh, I forgot what this guy's name is. The colorist. Blah, 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 blah. It's, they, they did it. They did a fantastic Fancy. job. These issues. I, I would normally after reading one of these say, I'll wait for the trade, but these were so good. I'm, I'm going to buy the other two parts of it. So I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I'll have to do a review of it soon because my com- my channel is about more about comics and including comic review and news and so forth. So I'll actually do a review of those at some point in the future. Oh, that's but, uh, cool. They were they were a lot of fun. They were a lot of fun. That's good that uh, because I know that there are some uh, good comic books out these days. It's just they they don't see. It's like when you open up a box of stuff from the eighties. It's it seems. Or even some of the stuff from the '90s. It seems so much better than when you open up a bo- you know, fifty cent box from nowadays. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I mentioned before that I was going to show you guys some of the some of the gems I pulled that I pulled out of these boxes as we've been going through them. Let me grab those real quick and I'll share share them with you guys. Oh, I've got about two minutes that I can spend, and I got to go over to Dillard Stream for the D and D. Oh, okay. Well, I'll make this quick. Well, we got these four from tonight. That might be why the Cult of Raven is, the you know, they're not. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Well, this was, yeah, this isn't worth any money, but it has a fantastic cover, so I pulled that out. Yeah. So we got uh, Bloodhound number five, which I actually yeah. have the original art for. Oh, I pulled this one out. I pulled yeah, that's the cool stuff. Oh, oh, oh Gotham by Gaslight. Yeah, I have a copy of that. That's awesome. That is so cool. Teen, uh, Teen Titan. Titans numbers one nice, and, two nice. and 21. I pulled this one out because it's actually signed by Marv Wolfman and George Perez, so that's kind of cool. Uh, uh, Green Lantern Corpse Recharge number one, which actually is the first appearance of uh, what's her name? Uh, oh, yeah, you should have to pull all those Teen Titans out. Oh, I did. I did. I just put these three aside for. Oh, okay. Crux number 31, which I actually own an original piece of art from this, this issue. I was afraid you were going to take all those Teen Titans, most of those Teen Titans. No. I think that's, not, that's you know. that is, is that Contagion? Uh, oh, no, no, no man's no, 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 Yeah, yeah, but this is the first appearance of uh, the, the Cassandra the, Kane. King, yeah. um, I, own a, I own an original page from this. I own an ori- nice. uh, original page from that. I don't know how this got in there. I don't know what that crap Oh, that's beautiful. The the Malin's uh, graveyard shift. Oh, yeah, it's a good looking book. The Mighty Thor. Oh, that's so great. This is, this is the first appearance of the uh, New Warriors. Actually, they appeared. What's that the character Warriors. right there? I, f- I forget his name. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. Juggernaut. Yeah, he's cool. Juggernaut. Uh, <laughs> the New Warriors appeared on the last panel in this issue, and then they appeared on the cover and in the inside of this issue. So I kept up it, but these were this, this was Axe of stuff. Vengeance. I don't if you guys aren't familiar with what Axe of Vengeance was, that was a fantastic crossover. It's where villains from different from different uh, comics went to other went like Juggernaut went after the Thor. Juggernaut was always been an X Men villain. Like Magneto went after like Spider Man or something like that. It was it was oh crazy. that's cool stuff. That, that's, uh, that's a cool idea to uh, do that. And then uh, we have. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 64, which, uh, if you guys aren't aware, it's the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Nice so, graphics as well. Yeah, oh yeah. And then this was the first issue of the Punisher Limited series with fan frickin' tastic art by Mike Zeck. Oh, I love, I love how that, uh, I love the, the gun and how the, how it's being fired and that's what's... Yep. Well, he did. He did the art for yeah, a couple it's... other of the issues, but the art, like, really, really 
went down in quality where the first issue was just absolutely fantastic so but yeah these are the, these are some of the gems that i pulled out of the boxes so far and uh i'm sure i'm gonna find some more as cool. i go through them because i don't i honestly guys I have almost a hundred small boxes filled with bagged and board comics, and I don't know. What's oh, in them. That I can see why you're going through them then. That's right. just a bit much. Yeah, I've, I've got two. Hey, that's 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 boxes. not that's yeah. not a bit much. That's just enough. That's not even just enough. Yeah, yeah, it's just enough. It's well, more it's, than it's enough. A bit more much, than enough, right? I've, 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 but I've seen that room he's in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, well. it's way too much. Uh, anyways, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. All right, Rick. Thanks a lot for joining us. Great team, yeah. Okay. Catch, yeah, fun, buddy. Catch, catch me on D&D &D after this on John's. Oh, yeah, definitely. You mean John Diller? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm not promoting him at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, man. Take it easy. Appreciate take you stopping by. Yeah. Oh. Actually, um. Mike invited me to go see uh, Shazam with him tomorrow night after work. So I may go see Shazam tomorrow and maybe do a review afterwards. And so is Mike your son? Yes, Mike is my son. I keep son. thinking of, hey, Mike, hey, Mike. Yeah. The Mike Miller. <laughs> yep, yep. But nope, 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 nope. He's a, he's a good kid, and uh, he works at the theater. And uh, I'm not sure if he works. I think maybe he does work tomorrow. That's why he's inviting me out, so. But we'll see. We'll see if I've got time. But uh, yeah, you never know. That's cool. I, I, I think I think it's gonna. Out. I think I think the movie's gonna be fantastic. But then again, I like everything, right, Avery? Oh, he's he's muted. He's muted. He's probably working. Yeah, I might I might might not be around tomorrow. Are you? Is it Avery's show tomorrow or? Um, I'm not sure. Avery, are you going to live stream tomorrow, or do you know? Oh, he's muted again. He's muted yeah, still. He's muted. Hey, are you going to live stream tomorrow? No. No? Okay. No. That's all right. That's all right. I wonder if that confuses viewers that they have to switch back and forth. Between the two of us? Yeah. Well, well we, can't do, we can't have one channel for both of us. No. Well, technically, like my. I mean, yeah, I mean, it that would make sense. Actually, but... actually, we could do one channel for both of us. Yeah, that he that actually could happen. Make, he could. He would just have to make me a, like a. There's a way to make me a partner on his channel, and I I could just put my videos on his. There is a way to do it. And just have one channel for both of us. Well, we still got a lot more growing we got to do first, so. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't. I don't know if. Uh... If splitting the audience, is, if that's a good thing, or if, if it does split the audience or not. Well, we're two, we're two different people. Yeah. Well, like, we're yin and yang, I mean. Uh, yeah, but I'm ditching you as soon as I can. Yeah, but we're like peanut butter and jelly, you know? They go together. Yeah, I'm ditching you as soon as I can, man. But but we're like honeycombs and, and milk, as long as so, it's not sour. It really reminds me of Bert, and you remind me of Ernie, Andrew. He, okay, what are you working on here? You're dead. Weight. And you know, like uh, Ernie would always do something to irritate Bert. Well, I don't have any hero stuff to work on, so. Oh crap! I forgot I was supposed to give you the next three pages. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I'm working, I'm working on a layout for something. All right. Yeah, I see that. That looks fantastic. Oh, good God. I, I told I, you. No, I, I'd say I've been busy, but I've been busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. Crap. What was the last I think, I think you can figure out what it is. Oh, yeah. It looks fantastic. What, were the, what was the last page I gave you? Do you remember? <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man. I put you on the spot, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 41 or 42? 41 or 42. Well, I'll know when I, as soon as I see him. Because I think the splash page is the one, it was the last one you were working on, so. Yeah. Guys, I am just so bad. I gotta keep him working. You know, if I don't keep him working, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, turn to 41. life, he's gonna turn to a life of drugs and, ah, oh, 
it's just gonna go bad. Yeah. Life is just gonna go bad. So go, I might not be around go, tomorrow. Go, going to go bad? Going to? All right. Pages 42 and 40, 42, 43, and 44 wrap up chapter 8. So I'm gonna send right. you those three pages. All right. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the, the girl in this piece. I don't know. I know the big dude goes in the back, and I've, I've kind of got a pose here for the vampire dude. Oh, yeah? I just don't know how to pose the girl. I had an idea of her in the foreground drawing the sword up the back, but I want to have her bigger up. I want to have more of her on the page. You could do like a classic 90s thing and have like her head or face be in the background. No, no. It's not cool enough. Big guys in the background. Yeah, I, want her, hurt. I want more of her figure on here. No, all right. In a sexy pose with a sword. Well, sexy pose with a sword probably sells it better. Exactly. Exactamundo, baby. No, right. no, no, don't say that. <sighs> what? What did I say? No. Stop. <laughs> it was getting a little cringy there for a moment. Trust me, I, 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 how many times that I've, I open my mouth and he cringes, trust me. Oh, it's, it makes things entertaining to, to like, uh, just the dynamic between the two of you. Yeah, we hear that a lot. But I think, I think, uh. Might not be entertaining for you two, but it's entertaining for me. I think it wigs him out. Probably sometimes. for the audience. Yeah. It, it, it really it wears me out sometimes. Like some days, I, some days we finish the stream and I'm just like, I, I could just go like two or three weeks and not talk to Andrew. It, 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 <laughs> well, this has been going on for decades now. Yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> yes. I don't normally talk to Andrew this much. <laughs> oh, I see. Even we, we get together every now and then and, and he tends to let me do all the talking. No, 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 no. You just don't shut up. Well, I was trying to be nice about it, but yeah. <laughs> trying to be nice to yourself about it. That's yeah. Right. yeah. I was trying to put myself in a in a in a yeah. in a better light, you know. Well, uh, yeah, I, I'd just kind of give up on that if I were you just uh yeah, I know. Go with it and, and just go with the flow and Yeah. I should just I should just accept the fact that when I start talking, there are times I just can't shut up. Yeah. Oh, last night I was trying to say I was trying to say bye in the in, in the green room afterwards. I was like, "Hey guys, I gotta go." And, and but you and Lorenzo just were talking. I was just oh, like, oh, that, well, we. I looked up at one point. I said something about you, and I looked up and you were gone. And I'm yeah. like, "He's gone." Yeah. Where did well, I, I said bye, guys? I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> and you two just kept talking. I just said. Oh, that's because we were both autists. Yeah, so I, just, I, just I, I think I could, I could, I swear he is. Yeah. Oh, oh, he, yeah. He, he's very high functioning. Like, oh, yeah. High functioning autistic or he's or Asperger's. Yes. Yes. Too. All right. Well, yeah, I, I am so well, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I was sick back. So actually, I was, in, I, was in the, I was in the process of telling a story about us and I looked up and you were gone. And I'm like, well, freaking A. Yeah. But you know, I did think I do think I remember hearing you say <laughs> you, you were you were leaving, and you know, right over my head. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, Gunkaddy Kodiak said, "Hey, Slaystack, I didn't know Avery did your avatar. Looks like there's quite a bit of uh, stuff in the chat that." Oh, I can't. I can't see the chat. I'm I'm trying to get back to the chat. My my computer has frozen on me. I, I tried opening up something and not sure how far. I'm not sure what the last stuff you guys. Hell, I'm not even sure if they can still hear us out there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do a graveyard shift. That'd be awesome. Yeah, everything I click on, I've got three windows open. Everything I click on, nothing happens. So whatever, whatever my. Uh, Whatever my malfunction is, I had to reload the things because it had frozen up. But everything seems to be working. 
Yeah, I'd say goodnight to everybody and close the stream, but I can't. It's not letting me. <laughs> so I guess you guys are just going to have to li listen to me talk. Oh, Avery, I swear to God, everything's frozen. I don't know if anybody can hear us at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, they can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah? okay. It's still working. It's still working. It's just... I got one screen says waiting for studio youtube.com. My Photoshop is not coming up at all. I don't yeah. know what happened to my screen where I was uploading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it did that to me the other day, then kicked me from my own stream. And I had to I had to go find the link and take the link back in to my own stream. Yeah, you might want to copy the link just in case that happens. Or just bookmark it. No, I was thinking I might just if you're in Chrome, Chrome, just might turn on my camera and talk to people directly, but I, I can't switch the cameras over. Everything's frozen. <sighs> Too bad I can't control all delete anything. Nope, can't do that either. My whole entire screen for hours. Oh, well, Commodore two fifty six said, and those were printed in a garbage newsprint. Yeah, and they're better comics. Yeah, and they're better comics than the stuff today oh well oh yeah definitely it's just, it's because no one they you know that whole dan didio thing there isn't enough talent to produce that many books no there's plenty of talent there's lots of artists lots of the big names and workhorse artists from the last 30 years are still alive kicking and viable they don't want to pay the five hundred to a thousand, maybe twelve hundred dollars a page it takes to hire some of those dudes. Is what it is. Hiring people based on like hiring them off of like Tumblr or like these social media sites these, that are, you know it seems like it's based on their politics. Well, that's, they, what it, that's that's how it comes across. They joke about that a lot, uh, you know, DNC and, and you can they joke about that, saying that a lot of the talent out there is Tumblr type art. That's really scary if that's how they're finding artists. You know? And oh. it's it's no insult to the people to the guys you know who are like working at like the big two who are actually doing a good job. It's it's just There's there's a lot of very mediocre people whose stuff isn't exciting at all working very quite regularly. Meanwhile, there's some dude who's out there who's sold millions of copies of comics who sold millions not getting regular work and it makes no sense it's yeah. not a sustainable business model they're gonna have to they're they don't seem to be really making too much money might even be yeah. losing money i don't know i don't get it but you know hey i i, I i'm stupid but Uncanny Kodiak says, I think Avery is John Malin in disguise, exclamation point. <laughs> Just saying, I haven't seen the two of them in the same place. John Malin has no idea who I am. <laughs> Interesting theory. Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm not even on that dude's radar. To be honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever seen... Avery and John Malin on the same in the same thing together either. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but I don't know if I could actually make a fair judgment about that. Uh, this is Kodiak. You, you really, I'm going to let Kodiak tell you himself, but Kodiak comes up with some weird theory sometimes. Well, Kodiak needs help. Just saying. All I'm super saying is. <laughs> Did you read any of those comic comments back when you were opening the box, Andrew? Um, did I read the comments? No, I don't think so. No, because no, there were comments going way back then. Yeah, Andrew doesn't pay enough attention, man. I should have. I should have. That's the reason I things. give. That's the reason I don't. Is I'm trying to teach him a lesson, oh. but he's not learning it. But every once in a while, like I just have to. Be like, you know what? I'm just gonna let Andrews burn himself until he figures it out. Because I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, yeah. It's just you, you. You've gotta let him. You can't tell Andrew. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. You just have to like let him touch the stove and burn himself. 
Kind of I like only, the thing I where, only, where I can't only, tell him that I'm not going to buy his book until until he has a tier. Yes. Until, uh, of two copies. Yeah. When, yeah. when the campaign fails, he'll figure it out that he yes. won't have a tier. Like all this. Yeah. Every he'll be out late at night wondering why it failed. And then. Oh, yeah. Mm. Slaystack mentioned something, and so did several other people. Yeah. I, I know. I know. Damn it, my screen is still locked. He, although this time it's better than the one before, right? But he he only listened to part of the suggestions people made. Yeah. Next, that's time, next time he'll probably listen to at least 70% of them. Is there even going to be a next time for this? Isn't there a second um, Indiegogo campaign for the book? It doesn't matter. You can keep doing it over and over and over. There's nothing to stop it. Stop yeah, it. I'm just saying that, like, once it fails twice, what's the chance of it? I don't know. Antonio Bryce went three or four times with a brand. But he was on Kickstarter first, was it, wasn't he? Yeah. Then, then he went to Indiegogo. The, then he got. Yeah. Then he made well, Gamble here, and ended up on Ethan's show. But exactly. As a regular. Yeah. Our, and he has been since. Yeah. We're really, really small. What's the percentage of people that know about Hero? You know, because if you look at our subscriber base, we're doing pretty good, actually. Yeah. Um. Do, do you guys have uh, do many uh, like Instagram followers? Because there that one book. Um. There's one I, book that I every time I get to 500, I lose 10 or 20 people. I'll get up around oh. 500, then 20 or, or or 20 to 50 people will just unfollow me. Or or maybe they get they get unfollowed. I wonder how that works with Instagram. Yeah. Plus, I know of- uh, Twitter. Well, uh, just all of a sudden get un- uh, all of a sudden unfollow people, and I, I was following them. Pretty I, sure. I, I don't I don't know what the deal is, but. Well, it's because I post part of it's positive because I post several different types of art and some people like if you do comics and then you post a bunch of fine art paintings and abstracts, yeah, they'll unfollow you. They'll be like, what's this? And some people only like one certain thing. Well, I've noticed that with my Twitter that people just don't even like I'll post other stuff that I that I that I have confidence in is as good. I mean, I have less confidence as far as like, say some of these comic books yeah, I'm looking at, I don't know what the stories are like, uh-huh. but, um, you know, I'll post some music or something that I would think people would like, or and people are like, don't even, uh-huh. they, they don't end up liking it. They don't press like or anything. It's like something completely foreign. Yeah. If people follow you for one thing and they start seeing something different, they don't like that. <laughs> some people. Yeah. It, it's like in com- like in comics. Uh, uh, some of the, my favorite artists. Most most comic fans do not like that type of stuff. They they don't get it. They they see it and they go, "What the hell is that?" Like I really like Dave McKean. I really like Kent Williams. But a lot of people don't. don't. Because their style is is is. Different, yeah. They're, uh, they're they're based heavily in fine art. Hey, XP, Com- uh, was it Cosmics? I don't know if I pronounced that right. Back from he said he's back from the dead. <laughs> Andrew will be right back. He probably dipped out. I think he had a he had a oh re- yeah yeah. He had to reset his computer. Do, 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 do. Commodore 256 says, even if comics have always been political, related to what we were talking about earlier, um, with with the writing style going downhill, I think, mm-hmm. have they always been a power fantasy for better partisan hacks that hate Western traditions? Mm-mm. No. They, they, American comics were always very pro-Western. Yeah, 
like uh, Captain America used yeah. to be when yeah. it was the real Captain yeah. America. Yeah. And, and a lot of those people writing those books were people who were liberal, but they were liberal for the time. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that, you know, were, I don't have they, anything they were, wrong with that. Yeah. That, that kind of that kind of liberalism, you know. Yeah. That, that's actually yeah. that's actually what I that's actually just uh that's kind of more like I don't like to get political, but that's more like what, what I believe. So I don't like putting labels on things. Because like, it's confusing nowadays to put myself on the political term. Yeah, something happened. This is totally, it's totally. Hey guys, it's I'm gotten, uh, the the more um, controlling people control left. Did she even notice I left? Yeah. yeah, no one cared. Okay, okay. The show got better. We. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I actually had to turn off my computer. Yeah. Because nothing was working. Everything stopped and failed and. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. But I don't know. I'm back to to close down. All right, All right. I I liked I liked the uh, new segment dollar bill diving. I mean not oh, dollar I like bill. The, I like the new segment that happened when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was interesting. We were having a good discussion. I thought you guys are just so damn funny. Yeah, I mean it hurts. You're so funny. Yeah, I know. We actually gained a viewer. Yeah. Did we really? This X was it XP Oh XP Cosmics? I th I yeah. think we've seen them before, so But it, like uh, but he's back from the dead, so Yeah. Is that the yeah. same person or a new person? If they're if they're like resurrected. They're back from the dead, like, so like, yeah. like the Hulk. No, if you guys get an opportunity, hit the hit no, don't even hit the thumbs up. Never mind. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even gonna oh, I'm not even it. I'm not even gonna ask people to do that. That's... Spank it, spank, spank yeah, it. smash that melee button. Come on, smack it like you know how I want to smack Andrew. You know you want to. <laughs> hey, Regal, Regal, Regal. She's yeah, looking. Like she's completely... she's looking. She's looking at herself on the computer. Hey, Regal. Hey, you. Hello. Completely self-defeating. This is how impressed she is with me. Yeah. She's so impressed, she just says, you know what, I'm just going to sit down and just... <sighs> Looks like we got six likes. Yeah, see? See, you got to ask them. Now, please go subscribe. Thank you so much. Illustration Studio 7.62. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. I mean, it's, I appreciate it's it. the same people over there that's over here, except it's my channel. So yeah. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 the it's the same, but with more of Avery's, you know, twist seven, on things. Seven what? three. I can't. That's the part that always throws me off. Seven point six two. Seven point six. Illustration Studio seven point six two. I'll I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it yeah, in I was the. Gonna, I was yeah. Trying to put it in, and I just. It's that's what throws me off when I look for it. Is it that, that last part? It's because you don't understand the reference. But I'm just saying, yeah, some people will get the reference, but I'm not sure if most, well, most comic book fans. I don't no, know. probably not. I don't know. Some people, some people get it, and other people don't. Do you do you get it, Slee Stag? Yeah, it's like some sort of gun reference. It's a caliber, correct. Very, very popular in the com block. In the what? Com block. Why is a cat hosting the show? It's doing a better job than Andrew. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, to, I didn't mean to complain. Damn, that actually well, hurt, yeah. guys. That, that, that was mean. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is absolutely you know what Pretty i was bad. i was going to get the the link to his to his yeah. channel yeah, and yeah, put yeah. it in the chat and now i don't want to yeah that's fine I don't care. yeah but the, yeah but if you post it you might actually get people watching and then 
they, the book might be you know they might yeah you buy the book but yeah oh Commodore had already done it all right Commodore I... yeah it's it's Thanks. not like, it's not like you need the money to keep paying me to color it I mean who wa- who who wants this book to actually succeed I mean come on I mean wait I do because I want to get paid <laughs> I don't think Andrew wants so you didn't have that tear well oh jeez man he's not gonna oh. let it go. No, oh, I'm not going to. No, he's autistic. He can't. They I, literally he, cannot. I have a sleeve stack. I'm going to yeah. work on it. And, and an autist at that. Yeah, he literally can't. It, like, it, it, it's driving me crazy every day. Every freaking day. X, XP Cosmics, I do remember you. What's you were it? the one of the ones that helped me with the idea for the, 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 the panda character. Yeah, I do remember. Come on. I'm not that flighty yes yeah. i am yes i am and i know i don't, don't want to just over mention it because i know they can some people put things off because people get you know they feel they're being pestered sure. it's just i can't help but mention it because it's 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 a profound source of torture yeah well but he yeah. literally wants to give you let me see it's it's <laughs> it's, the, it's the he literally wants to give you like a hundred bucks and you yeah. can't which is like a major chunk of money for me. Yeah. Not like I'm rich. He wants, he wants, oh. he wants two of the deal. <laughs> I live below the poverty line and I want to give you a ton of money and I want to make sure I do that. Yeah. I still well, I'm looking, I'm looking at the campaign. It's got 22 days left. I mean, I got three weeks to get it up there, right? Yeah, well, it's going to, yeah, three weeks for it to fail. <laughs> you know <laughs> that. You know that. <laughs> Are people are people backing it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're, I mean, they're we're still getting backers, but how many? How much are they backing these extra tiers? Um, actually, I've gotten a couple for the uh, the uh, the tier. So it's um, already paid off uh, adding those tiers. I bet this would really pay off, and you'd be happy, and there'd be less stress in your life if you put that up there. Yeah, two people claim the Hero Book One Ash Cannon Sketchbook um, tier. So yeah. Because yeah. that's a good tier. But now I we like need... those crap tiers you had earlier. <laughs> These are actually good. Oh my god! <laughs> I promise, Lorenzo. By the next time I talk to you, those tiers will that tier will be up. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to give you a hundred bucks. Two of the two. The... It's not even a hundred buck tier because it doesn't include sketches. It's just the books, the sketchbook, and the ash can times two. Yeah. So technically, it's like ninety dollar tier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's still a lot of money for me. A well, lot could, of money. I'd make it uh, an eighty eighty five dollar. Well, no, no. no, you're chopping too much off the books, man. Yeah, I know. I know. Dollars. You gotta stop cutting, undercutting too much. Well, yeah. figure that out and then put it up. All right, I'll do that. Because I really, I really do think it'll it would be less stressful for you if people are buying your book, and then you can go eat your peeps, and peace. Oh God! I did uh, finish Just off that. Disgusting. Hopefully without us. I oh, did finish. Oh, I did. Yeah, those are, that's oh, dude. I did finish off that box. That by was the painful. way, and, that was painful watching that. I'm gonna uh, the, the licking of the fingers. It was so oh, cool, dude. It was nightmare <laughs> fuel, dude. That was oh, disgusting. <laughs> It was like some sort of like outrageous porn or something. Dude, that was worse than porn. It was food porn, man. It was food that porn. Was worse than, no, that was not it's food like, porn. That was that was feeder porn. Yeah, yeah. Like you could charge. Like there are people you could. They, I've, you could I've charge seen like nine ninety five to download that clip. On I, I've seen that with like these uh these model these. It wasn't just a plus size model site on Facebook. They weren't nude, but it was like these models, and they were like really plus size, and they were sh- like shoving cheeseburgers in their mouths. Yeah, it's a thing. Kodiak Co- says, "Which I'm not saying that they should, they could never ever eat a cheeseburger in their life again. I'm just saying it was like really perverted the way that they were." Yeah, I know. I know. Die. It's it's horrific. Hey, Kodiak Kodiak says, "My timer to my oven goes off in three minutes, and Andrew still hasn't read my comments." So I need to go back and read his comments. His last comment says, Andrew, read the comments. <laughs> I did, see? There you go. Yeah, he's really bad at that. 
it kind of matters, especially when your channel's this small. That's one thing that, you know, uh, I we give Rick flack for not uh, letting in, for not. Um, did um, you guys tell Com- the- did you guys tell Commodore that I had to leave and came back because he obviously didn't realize I had left. So I, uh, we, we mentioned you were gone. Okay, but right. we get Rick Flack for um, not doing the foundations for his um when he when he when he draws, but he really does do a good job with it, with his reading in the chats mm-hmm. and put it doing his best to put on an entertaining show. I, I watch every noon, but uh, Andrew just every noon stream. I'm trying to get better, guys. I really am. But you. Read your comments. Yeah, well, well, like, like what a half hour, forty five minutes without. It. I mean, yeah. going back to when the the because there's comments going back to when you were unboxing stuff. Oh, really? All right, I'll go back to the very beginning and see if there's anything I actually missed. And I read some of them, but there were only so many. I. These people, okay. these yeah. people regularly. Oh, Yoka Milk was in here. I didn't even realize he was here. Shit. Oh, gosh. Sorry, man. Is he even still here? Probably not, because Andrew probably broke his heart by ignoring his comment. Just like he does to you every day. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kodiak says, I got Doug to show Hero today. Yay. When did he show Hero? For like He's- a second. He couldn't pronounce your last name, which that's okay. I, oh, okay. I, I can't even remember your last name. That's all right. Andrew's fine. I guess that's what he was trying to tell me, is that he uh, he got Doug to, to check out Hero. Cool. Well, I was trying to type it in Twitter, and I couldn't figure out your name, so I just gave up. I did put in the call to Raven, though, I, some, that you were all unboxing the Bigfoot Bill thing. Oh, but that okay. was overdone with so fast, I, it was useless for me to try to do the same thing. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I really, really do want to drag things out, but I'm really bad at it. Oh, no, you dragged out that that uh, that peeps thing painfully long. It really shouldn't have happened in the first place. Well, that was that was quite entertaining, I think. It, it, it was so entertaining. I'm out there actively looking for new foods to share like with a you. Oh, back. God, dude, no. Do not become a feeder channel. You just... Disgusting. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe that classifies as toys and more. He's better off getting in a fursuit because that's your, uh, that's your uh, you're more likely to buy your book than. Uh, yeah, true, 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 true. true. At, least Slee- fur- at least furries have money. Slee Stack's given me some ideas, people. He's given me ideas. And I, but the pro- problem I've seen is that. Uh, I was watching this video about furries, and they, these people actually didn't seem. These people weren't um, like the stereotype that people have, but they were just kind of like the people I saw in that particular video tended to be more like uh, very politically correct. Mm-hmm. And I, I know not all, hashtag not all furries, but I, I think that is kind of an obstacle with that community. Is is they they just kind of though they did they, they're kind of fun loving people. I've met some nice furries over the years. <laughs> yeah, some who follow me on on, on Twitter, and I appreciate them following me. Oh, <laughs> I was playing second. I went to. Try to <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've had some nice furries over the years. I'm just yeah. like, oh dear God, dude. I played Second Life, and the uh, we went to go and try that out. I, I I didn't find it interesting in the long run, but I tried it maybe a couple times. And the person who taught me how to use, how to play the game was this dog. <laughs> just this dog. <laughs> on the he, 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 was a, he was a furry. I, and I'm like, so, and I'm like, furries get to, and, it was, and there was another person in the game that he was, like, helping through the game because the tutorial was kind of crap. And uh, 
And I was just like, you know, so furries get together and they have like parties and then they like, uh, I think I was going to like imply that they have sex and they're like, no, we just, you just have, you have get togethers or, you know, uh, we're not, they're not all, hashtag not all furries. They're not all horrible degenerates. Yeah, what do they call it? A yilf or, what they, I, or yif? Oh God, uh, let's not, let's not, <laughs> let's not. Guys, why are you trying to turn my channel into a furry channel? You I'm really not trying are. to. I'm trying. You get ready, better. You get better. Um, I'm trying to avoid it like the plague, dude. So what I'm, you're saying I'm is, trying we need to, to, I'm trying to avoid it like shaking hands with Doug Tenable. You're uh. Oh yeah, you don't want to. Uh, Cecil has said that he paid more money for him not to autograph the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great looking book though. It oh. is fantastic. I think it is fantastic. You did a great job. Yeah. I, I think that's wonderful. I... Hey Avery, you'll be happy to know the next three pages have been uploaded. Cool. And page forty three and forty four, there's four panels where the backgrounds are exactly the same. So that might make coloring them easier. Sure. I'll just maybe. I don't know. There's there's some backgrounds and some recent pages that were just the same thing, sort of rescaled. So I just like do, 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 kept rescaling the colors. Well, here I'll show you the pages real quick. Do, 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 do. So this is page forty-two. Uh -huh. So it, it's it's flashing. It's kind of going back to where the tur for the frogs from yes, the first yes, two the, pages. The all right, Pepe's. All right, Pepe. No, no, no. Disavow. And, uh, and the next page, 43, has he's has like the, the leader talking to all the younger children. And all of a sudden, you see this character members. pop up in the middle panel. And then you see a, a second one pop up in the third panel. And then when you turn the page, there's five of them all popped up. And then he turns around, looks, and they're all gone. Somebody stole all the All Right Pepe's. Somebody stole the old right Pepe's. Yeah. I have them all right there. There used to be a hashtag. There was a hashtag, not all Pepe's. Yes. Really? Yeah, because then, yeah. yeah, they were trying to, because uh, it was, yeah, there were people on the, there were people trying to reclaim Pepe. Yeah, because Pepe's just a funny meme, yeah. dude. That's all. Yeah, it, it was, it was just used for, um, I think Donald Trump once tweeted Pepe, and then there was, Named by um, Hillary Clinton, yeah. that it was a right wing meme. Yeah. It really, it was used. It's a meme used for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, he's, every, he's like everything. He's 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 white. He's Mexican. He's Jewish. He he's Trump. He's uh, even Bernie Sanders. Like yeah, whatever it, whatever just, people want to see in him, they'll see. It's is Bernie is Bernie Sanders a furry? Is that what you're trying to no, tell us? No, the thing is that the frog is kind of frog oh. something that's in the water <laughs> and it's on. It's, in, it's like it's in the water yet it's on land. It doesn't fit into categories. I was trying to think. I was trying to figure out if we were breaking news, breaking you know. And Caddy Kodiak. My Baba Lou. Hello, Kodiak. How are you? Hi. Figured since you wasn't going off air, I might as well jump on. <laughs> Well, my computer locked up, and for the longest time, I couldn't end it. Yeah, you hear the chaos in the background. There, there's the kids. There's the kids. Yeah, all right. So what you up to, man? What you working on? No, he dropped out. Yeah. He's back in. And now he's back. That was the wrong button. <laughs> I, obviously. Yeah. Well, it's good well, to see you. a funny joke to send you. I had a funny joke to send you, but I lost it. So, oh yeah, Pinterest fails. Pinterest uh, fails. Pinterest fails. As in Pinterest failed on you, or you have that's part of the joke. No, Pinterest <laughs> failed. No, I failed at Pinterest. I failed at la Pinteresting. Interesting. How could you fail at that? Yeah, yes. Yeah, even the sleigh stacks like dude even I get that right. Because oh. it was a picture I didn't want to save, okay? <laughs> so now oh. I can't find it. Huh. 
but it's not a it's not a fat dude with the shirt off. I promise. It's legitimately G. Well, Walmart rated. All right. Does this involve furries? Because Andrew might be interested if they are. No. Well, she might be furry. I don't know. She? Oh boy. Uh, this this better be damn good, man. You're building up the suspense. It better be damn good. Oh, I can't find it. I've lost it. So how do you decide to become like my like, uh, an author of a furry book? Andrew. <laughs> how did you... <laughs> okay. Except, except your <laughs> meme. Don't be like Mike. Except your meme. Ask the, ask the question again so I, I understand it. How did you start? Uh, how did you come up with the idea of having an anthropomorphic character based comic book? Well, I've always had this sexual attraction. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. That's. Don't embrace the meme that hard. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll I blame you, well. Avery. You gave me too maybe, much permission. Okay, okay, maybe that one is my fault. Just <laughs> There's nothing sexual in that book, Carol, that I've seen. And no. I've seen different things, or in any of those three books that, that I've seen. Yeah, no, nothing. And, and you've shown quite a few pages. Yeah, nope. there's a whole se sequence in book two that just it gets really rocking. So. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Needless to say, we're going to go ahead and cut this. Hey, short. Wait a second. Wait a second. How did you start? How did you get interested in? And in, uh, how did you decide to come up with the? What was the inspiration we took for Hero? I've told you guys before. We, my dog and I, went out for a walk and we saw this huge raccoon jump out of the the dumpster of the apartment we live in and run right past us. And I just had that image of this giant raccoon in my head the entire day and I came up with this idea of a raccoon hero with a sword and a snake curling up behind him like it's going to pounce on him and that's that's where hero started oh I found it I found it I found it found Andrew. it Avery this is totally new, your next toy collection if this uh -oh. is bad I'm cutting you off Oh yeah, no thanks, man. I've seen. All right, and on that mark, and on that mark, we're we're, we're yeah. thank yeah, you, Kodiak, was, for helping us in with the way. This is a toy. This is a toy fair. Yeah, all right, everybody. Oh, yeah. We'll see you all next I've time. Seen Join us. All. Yeah, no, All's thanks. fair at Toy Fair. I <laughs> haven't, and I wish I hadn't seen. Join it, us. No. Join us Wednesday, seven thirty <laughs> Eastern time. I should be on hey. time. Has anybody uh, ever driven a moped? You know, tomorrow. Good night, everybody.